today this 25 years old male patient presented to me with complaints of gradual decrease of vision now look at his wide open palpable fissures he was not wearing any glasses as well my first impression was that he has profound visual loss due to advanced glaucoma or advanced retinitis pigmentosa but then he told me that uh, my old glasses um, are broken um, he didn't remember uh, the number but told that they were quite thick now when i performed sitlam examination i found a deep anterior chamber clear lens liquefied vitreous and severe pathologic changes on the frontus tilted discs temporal crescent peri papillary atrophy and scleral show posterior staphyloma confirmed on b scan severely thin retina macula was atrophic severe choroidal sclerosis myopic maculopathy chorioretinal atrophy patchy pigmented scars tessellated fundus diffuse retinal pigment epithelium pigmentary atrophic changes optic disc optic disc with oval appearance is called tilted disc and there were anomalous retinal vascular branching as well scleral show can be appreciated as well lacquer clacks were also evident these are the irregular yellow bands on posterior pole representing breaks in the brooks membrane and can be foci of future cnv with trivial trauma now <clears throat> I have also suspicion of Fuchs spot at uh, macula. Now it is an area of RP hyperplasia, suspected to be the response of RP to previous uh, regressed CNV. Myopic CNV is the most common cause of vision loss in high myopia. So after detailed fundus examination and before that, vision was counting finger both eyes. IOP was normal and with minus fourteen diopter spheres and minus two diopter cylinder both eyes were improving to 636 now patient was uncompliant with glasses so we cannot rule out element of amblyopia as well pathologic myopia affects three percent of the world population high myopia is refractive error of more than minus six diopter or axial length of 26.5 millimeter when severe above mentioned fundal changes like myopic maculopathy do accompany then it is called pathological myopia patients may develop macular holes retinal detachment cnvs with trivial trauma so such patients should be counseled in detail to avoid contact sports and wear polycarbonate glasses don't run their eyes don't even touch their eyes and if develop sudden flashes and floaters a curtain like loss of vision they should consider it emergency and seek ophthalmology examination now if refractive error is stable annual we vision and detail fundus examination is enough there is no proven medicine that can halt the myopic fundal thinning progression however cnv can be treated with anti vegf patient with decreased vision in the setting of maculoschisis may benefit from vitrectomy to relieve traction and prevent macular hole and retinal detachment formation so <clears throat> i had gave uh, this patient uh, uh, glasses uh, and also counseled him uh, about his uh, thin retina and that was all about pathologic myopia in this case thank you very much